So the average family does five loads of laundry a week. That adds up to about 300 loads of laundry a year. During the last hour of the morning show, we explained how to save money by listing certain things that don't need to be washed as frequently as you might think. Now we're revealing five things that Consumer Reports' very own laundry expert will never do. <laughs> And why? We can all learn from this. Rich Handel is joining us now live via Zoom to reveal them. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning, Jennifer. How are you? All right. So number one, why will you never use fabric softener? So I never use fabric softener. It's a waste of money. Not only can it irritate sensitive skin, it can leave a layer of residue on your clothes and also reduce the absorption of your towels. Huh. Who knew? Okay. Number two involves laundry in the bathtub. Would you explain? <laughs> sure. A uh, popular trend on TikTok was laundry stripping, putting your clothes, soaking them in the uh, tub water, trying to remove extra soap, dirt, whatever. You don't need to do that. It's a messy job and it's a waste of time. Your machine has an extra rinse cycle, multiple extra rinse cycles, and you could soak it in the machine. A lot easier to do. Yeah, and, and not as messy as you mentioned. So, okay, so number three is a mistake I think a lot of people make. Yeah, using too much detergent. Everybody overdoes it. You only need about a shot glass, one and a half ounces of detergent. They're very concentrated. And using too much actually doesn't help. It also can leave a residue in the machine and on your clothes. So is that like a really, I, I struggle with that one. Um, very frequently, actually. I look, I'm like, well, I've got a lot in there. You know, I use the pods. I'm like, well, maybe I should throw in three instead of two. But so the, the, the reminder is the shot glass. What about how much is in there? Does that matter? <laughs> well, sure. I mean, if you're doing a super large load, and remember, don't overstuff the machine because you're also not helping yourself. It won't allow the detergent solution to circulate and won't allow the clothes to, to circulate. But Start with the least amount on a medium load to large load and then progress higher if it doesn't do the job. It really depends on how dirty you clothes on. Most professionals, people working in an office, don't have a lot of dirt on their clothes. Yeah, yeah and, and that's true. Uh, you know, um, it depends on probably parents with kids and what those kids are doing outside, you know, and, and what they're getting into. Uh, and, that, and you brought up a very important point, which is uh, number four, which is never overstuffing the washing machine. Let's talk the final one, which is another common mistake. And this one actually can lead to permanent stains. Yes, yeah, so you want to try to remove the stains before you put your items in the dryer. The dryer will set the stain it, it makes it a lot more difficult to remove that stain. So you want to do your best to remove it prior to putting it in the dryer. Spot clean it, wash it in the washing machine, hang it up to dry. So then you can see if the stain's still there. If it's, not, if it's still there, keep working on it until you get it out. Once you put it in the dryer with the heat, it will set the stain and make it much more difficult, almost impossible to, to remove. And, and Rich, let me just ask you, when it comes to stains, so you go ahead and you treat it, obviously, before you put it, as you just mentioned, into, into the washing machine. Should that water be cold or hot? Does it matter? Sometimes I used to think that hot water can help get the stain, at, stain out, but that's not the case. It really depends on the stain. Some stains, like blood stains, actually get removed better with cold water. The heat coagulates and then makes the sa uh, sets the stain. So it really depends on the stain. I suggest looking at the label on your clothes. They will guide you. Sometimes if the water's too hot, it can damage your clothes. Excellent points. Rich Handel, thank you so much. You saved me time and money. I appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> and if you missed any of this information, by the way, we have shared this morning about doing your laundry to save time and money. We have it posted right now on our website. You'll also find our story from 720, so about an hour ago this morning that we shared with our viewers about the items you don't need to wash as often as you think and the ones you really do need to wash regularly. Just go to newsforjax.com and look under the homepage.